California's Coastal Cleanup Day is going to look different this year. Typically, thousands of volunteers gather to help with the beach cleanup. But with safety and social distancing, that's not really possible. KPIX 5's Emily Turner on the new changes starting this week. Pretty major changes are coming to the biggest cleanup in California. The Coastal Commission is giving it a new date and a new place in this new world of COVID-19. Coastal Cleanup Day will look a lot different this year, thanks to the pandemic. For starters, it's not just on the coast, it's all across the state. Also, it'll last the entire month of September. Given current circumstances, running Coastal Cleanup Day as we traditionally would uh, simply wasn't safe for our volunteers or our organizers. Instead, the California Coastal Commission is encouraging everyone to go out in their own communities and pick up trash. The entire state is urged to take part, even inland areas, because creeks and storm drains all lead somewhere. Cleaning the coast really starts at our own front doors. Trash that's on our streets is going to be the trash that pollutes the coast once the rains come. Volunteers can download an app called Clean Swell. It's a map-based database that shows where other people are volunteering and cleaning up, as well as what they collect. But this year, the California Coastal Commission says the cleanup offers a unique opportunity to do more than just clean up. It's also an opportunity to teach people what a watershed is and how what we do all over the state affects our coastline. I would encourage folks to really think about the ideas behind storm drains and creeks and rivers and how trash travels in this state. It's not stationary. And that really will help people understand the impact that they can have no matter where they may live. The Coastal Commission hopes that the extended time and the location will bring in more volunteers and more trash. Emily Turner, KPIX 5.